Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Elle McPherson biography. If you like my video, please follow my YouTube channel. Elle McPherson is an Australian model, actress, television personality, and businesswoman who is known as the body because to her amazing height and athletic physique. McPherson is also a member of the Australian model agency, Elite Model Management. She began her career as a model in 1986, and since then, she has been on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit an unprecedented five times, earning her the title of the world's most famous supermodel. She appeared on the covers of a number of prestigious publications, including Vogue in both the United Kingdom and Australia, New York, Cosmopolitan, Elle, and Harper's Bazaar. She appeared in advertisements for brands such as Revlon, Christian Dior, and Omega, amongst others, in addition to walking the runway for well-known fashion houses such as Perry Ellis, Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein, and Louis Vuitton. She is the founder of a number of successful businesses, including Elle McPherson, The Body, a line of skincare products, and Elle McPherson Intimates, a line of lingerie that is known all over the world. She continues to serve as the creative director and primary model for each of these companies. She has continued to serve in the roles of executive producer and presenter of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model, and she is currently serving in the same capacity for the American reality television series Fashion Star. In addition to playing supporting roles in movies like Batman and Robin and The Mirror Has Two Faces, she has starred in films like South Kensington and The Edge as part of her acting career. Her other film credits include The Edge and South Kensington. Eleanor Nancy Gao was the first name given to Elle McPherson when she was born on March 29, 1964 in Kalara, New South Wales, Australia. Her parents were Peter and Francis Gao. While her mother worked as a nurse, her father was an entrepreneur and sound engineer who served as president of the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks, an Australian professional rugby league team. Following the conclusion of her parents' divorce when she was 10 years old, she and her two younger siblings moved home with their mother. Her father divorced her mother, and her mother remarried the multimillionaire Neil McPherson. She and her younger sister, Miriam Francis Gao, who is now a well-known environmentalist and goes by the name Mimi McPherson, took their stepfather's last name when they were adults. Elizabeth is one of her other sisters, while Brendan is one of her brothers. East Linfield was her home throughout her childhood. She fulfilled the requirements for her higher school certificate at Kalara High School in 1981 and received it. She attended the University of Sydney for one year to further her legal studies. She spent a year in the United States pursuing a modeling career in order to save money for her studies in law at the University of Sydney. During this time, she was able to pay for her books with the money she earned. After arriving in New York City, she quickly accepted a contract with a modeling agency known as Clip Model Management. In 1982, she made her debut in the modeling industry by appearing in a television commercial for Tab, a diet cola soft drink that was developed by the Coca-Cola company. Because of the successful ad, people in her own country saw her as the girl next door. Throughout the remainder of the 1980s, she was featured on the covers of several prestigious magazines, such as New York, Vogue in both Australia and the United Kingdom, Harper's Bazaar, Cosmopolitan, Marie Claire, Time, and Elle, amongst others. The latter saw her portrayed on a number of its covers, and she also made appearances in each and every one of the publication's issues for a period of six years in a row. At some point in the future, she became a member of the new generation of supermodels, with other models such as Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, Pavlina Poskova, Tatiana Petites, Christy Turlington, and Linda Evangelista. As a direct consequence of her early achievements in the modeling industry, in the year 1985 she was selected to represent the French luxury skincare brand known as Biotherm. Her budding career as a model received a significant boost in the year 1986 when it was announced that she would be featured in the annual swimsuit issue of the American magazine Sports Illustrated. She broke a record by being on the cover of the swimsuit issue on five separate occasions, namely in the years 1986, 1987, 1988, 1994, and 2006. After appearing on the cover of Time magazine in 1989, she was given the moniker Elle McPherson by the publication. She eventually used several of her commercial endeavors to put this moniker into practice. 
Due to the popularity of her modeling career, she has walked the runway for a variety of prestigious fashion designers and houses, including Louis Vuitton, Valentino, Ralph Lauren, Christian Dior, and Donna Karen. In addition, she has modeled for a number of renowned fashion photographers, including Bob Carlos Clark, Stephen Meisel, Ellen Von Unworth, and Francesco Scavullo, among others. After establishing a successful career in modeling, Elle McPherson decided to try her hand at acting and made her film debut in the 1990 romantic fantasy picture Alice directed by Woody Allen. The film was an American production and was released on December 25, 1990. She has also been an entrepreneur, and in 1990 she collaborated with Benden Limited Apparel to produce the lingerie collection known as Elle McPherson Intimates. This was one of her many business endeavors. It took some time, but eventually it became a huge success on a global scale, and it eventually became the underwear brand that sold the most units in both Australia and the United Kingdom. McPherson is also involved in other commercial endeavors, such as her own brand of beauty goods called L. McPherson, The Body and L. McPherson Incorporated. She stripped down to her underwear in the critically acclaimed film Sirens from 1994, which caused a scandal in the press and led her exes to want for more of the same in subsequent films. After that, she proceeded to appear naked for the May 1994 edition of Playboy magazine in order to produce such photographs on her own terms. In the years that followed, she collaborated on a wide variety of films with some of the most well-known personalities in the business. These included If Lucy Fell, 1996, starring alongside Sarah Jessica Parker, The Mirror Has Two Faces, 1996, starring alongside Barbara Streisand, and Batman and Robin, 1997, starring with George Clooney. She also had main parts in The Edge, 1997, which starred Anthony Hopkins, and South Kensington, 2001, which starred Rupert Everett and Sienna Miller. Both of these films were released in 1997 and 2001 respectively. Her acting credits on television include roles in the film A Girl Thing, 2001, as well as appearances on Saturday Night Live, 1996, and America's Next Top Model, 2008, 2016, as well as hosting roles on the series Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model, 2010 to 2013, and Fashion Star, 2010 to 2013. 2012 to 2013. In addition to that, she serves as an executive producer for the latter. When the twin island country of Antigua and Barbuda featured her face on multiple postage stamps in 1999, she made history by being the first model to have her image appear on a form of legal cash. At the closing ceremony of the Summer Olympics in 2000, she appeared alongside a number of other Australian luminaries. In addition to that, she was made an offer for the job of unofficial ambassador in the Tourism Commission of the Australian Government. Alongside the English model Naomi Campbell, she hosted the Miss Universe pageant in 2001, which took place in Puerto Rico on May 11, 2001. The competition was for the title of Miss Universe. At the Elle Style Awards in 2006, she was recognized as a style icon and given the prize for that honor. After signing a contract with the brand in March 2008 for a period of three years, she was given the role of Global Brand Ambassador by Revlon Cosmetics. Since that time, the corporation has used her in a number of their print and online advertising campaigns. She has been in a number of advertisements throughout the course of her career, some of which include those for Victoria's Secret, Han, Omega, Christian Dior, Mandarin Oriental Hotel Group, Garuda Airlines, KFC, Chrysler, and Diet Coke, among others. In the early 1980s, she had a love relationship with Billy Joel. Billy Joel was her boyfriend at the time. In 1984, she had the opportunity to speak with Gilles Ben Simon, a French fashion photographer who was also the creative director of Elle magazine. In May of 1986, the couple exchanged vows in front of family and friends, but only three years later, they parted ways. Between the years 1996 and July 2005, she was romantically involved with Arpad Busan, a French banker who was located in London. They have two boys together, Arpad Flynn Busan, who was born in February 1998, and Aurelia Sai Andrea Busan, who was born in February 2003. She began a relationship with Jeffrey Soffer, a hotel heir and millionaire from Miami, Florida, at the beginning of 2009. Following a brief separation, they rekindled their relationship in March 2013 and went on to marry the marriage in July of that same year. 
In 2017, the pair made public their intention to end their marriage and pursue divorce proceedings. In addition to being a patron for the National Association for the Children of Alcoholics, she is an ambassador for UNICEF, for the Smile Foundation in Australia, and a European ambassador for RED. All of these positions are in addition to her role as an ambassador for RED.